Welcome back to the Crazy Games Podcast. Welcome, 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 welcome. My welcome. name is Eno. I don't feel like Kayla. You don't feel like Kayla? Who do you feel like today? I don't know. I, I was thinking about this on my drive home from work today. I don't know if Kayla is really the name for me. Who is your, what is your name? I don't know. I haven't I, thought that far ahead yet. Uh, Abigail. No. Ugh, no. Mm. Abigail sounds very like long hair church girl. Uh, Onyx. Mm, no, I'm too white. Pearl. No, that's the whale from SpongeBob. Uh, Greta. Definitely not. Okay, so where are you going with this? See, I don't know. I just, you changed your name in adulthood. I just no, feel you're like Kayla. Okay, you're, you're Kayla. It's fine. It's okay to be Kayla. I mean, but I don't want to be. Okay, let's. let's but I'm Kayla. Hey. No, 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 no. no. We'll, we'll figure, <laughs> I, 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 I can figure. I think we can figure this out. B no, Sasha. No. You want to be enemy related, or enemy related? I don't think so. Cause I feel like I don't. I haven't earned it. Cause I'm not like a anime. Like I haven't grown up with anime. I, don't, I haven't watched all the animes. I feel like people are gonna come at me. It's like when you wear a Nirvana shirt and people get mad at you and they're like, name every Nirvana song that they ever released ever, and mm. you can't name one. And then everyone gets mad at you kind of thing, you know? But I think I got lucky because I was already into anime. So I could just get away with doing that. But I'm going to be Sean for a long time. Yeah. And even if I try to be like, no, don't call me Sean. Call me actually like like Kevin. Like that's not going to be real. Like it will only works because I'm Eno because it's anime related and it's my stream related. But if I can't switch to an English, like another, like I can't go from Sean to Do you know what David. your parents were going to name you if you were a girl? No, but I should actually ask my mom that. You should. I'll, I'll text her now and see if she responds later. Because if in the I clip. was going to be a boy, my parents were going to name me Harley. And I kind of dig it as a female name. Mm. Like Harley Quinn? Yeah, but no. Because my dad would have named me Harley after like Harley Davidson. And I feel like if I were to be Harley, I would probably do L-E-E instead of L-E-Y, just so that <coughs> people aren't like, oh, you're pretending to be Harley mm. Quinn. Yeah, so I said, if I was born a girl, what would have been my name instead of Sean? <clears throat> okay, while we wait for an answer, I've mm. got a few fun facts for you. Fun. Two of them, actually. They're both animal related. Give it to me. Okay, so the first one. You ever wonder if, like, roosters, because, like, roosters crow, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they're loud. So you got to be wondering, like, it's got to be loud to them, too, right? Since they're the ones making the noise. Uh, I can kind of, yeah, because there have been times where I hear recordings of me yelling and, like, back in, like, like the rugby and football days. But in the moment, it doesn't feel loud. Like it doesn't... Yeah, but roosters, when they, like, do their, like, cock-a-doodle-doo, they pinch their ears halfway closed right before it happens so that it doesn't hurt their ears as much. Can you imagine being so annoying that you have to pinch your ears closed Bro, just to deal with yourself? Why that is <laughs> that is evolution in in motion. Like that's a perfect example of I was meant to do this. I've made plans on how I'm going to do it effectively. And I've been doing it effectively for thousands of years. Because when was your first rooster crow? Not like uh, Jerusalem times. Yeah, like Probably before that. That's what I'm saying. Because aren't like chickens and stuff like clo kind of closely related to dinosaurs still? You know, it kind of makes me believe that that saying, like, which came before the chicken or the egg. Like, the chicken, regardless of which came first, the chicken or the egg, the chicken was here for thousands and thousands. Yeah. I don't know. That's a, that's a weird... To go off and of. speaking of dinosaurs, Ooh. alligators. Mm. You ever wonder how they've managed to live so long as a species? What do you mean living long as a species? Because alligators are also very closely related mm -hmm. to dinosaurs. To so me, to tell me they haven't changed in millions of years. They don't die of old age. Biologically, That's... they don't die of old age. They die mean? of starvation and disease. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But you will never see an alligator just die from natural, like, old age death. So two things. One, I'm going to keep that information in my back pocket so that if I ever need to turn into a biohuman, 
I know it picked crocodile, so I can live forever. So that's a nice little, yeah, nice little tidbit. But secondly, why isn't there an overpopulation of alligators? Well, because you also got to think like they they get into fights, like they get injured, they like disease. If that if that single fact of the eternal alligator is true, they don't die from old age. There has to be that one Joker alligator that's like four hundred and fifty years old. Probably. I need to find this out. Because we'll, we'll, we'll like the, we'll when I out. was googling it, like the average lifespan of a like an alligator it's in the hun- wild, one hundred twenty years. <clears throat> no, it's like 60, 70 years. So it's like a human. It lives it like there's not very many animals that live long. Mm-hmm. We got turtles. Mm-hmm. S- not snakes. I don't think snakes. Um. I think horses? It's no, just, horses get no, to like yeah, 30s, no. 30s, and 20s. I think it's really like turtles and, and like alligators, crocodiles, like reptilians, you know? Mm. Oh, what about um jellyfish? No, 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 not jellyfish. There's another like sea animal that repairs itself. It's not the Af- Afrodotals or whatever the fuck those are. Axolotls? Yeah, that's what... <laughs> You know what? I, th- those things are sea monkeys. I don't know why else these, these fancy, you know... They're sea monkeys. Axolotls are not sea monkeys. But whatever. Mm-mm. So wait, I'll go back to the crocodile thing. <coughs> so crocodile by a human. Mm. Would you... Would you... I guess this is like more of just like a personal question. Would you rather have like the head of a full alligator, but your body is still is human, human? Or be human, but just have like scale-like features, but like it's all over your body? Like a reptil, reptil human. You remember Snake Boy from uh, Cirque du Freak? Yeah, I want that. You want that? Yeah, I don't want to have a whole human body and then just a, a crocodile alligator. Okay, but head. I mean that could be buff, and I could be like a. I'm thinking of like because like they don't even too. really have like a neck, so it's just gonna go straight up. You get to be a bit you get to be <laughs> humanoid and just. So the only way that you're gonna be able to like see things is if you. Like, crawl around on all fours. Okay, okay, any question. Any question. Okay, scrap the question. Scrap the question. Scrap the question. Because now, as I'm imagining it, like, a humanoid crocodile with the head of a crocodile just seems... This seems all bad. Yeah. Okay. Mm. It also reminds me of this meme with centaurs. You know how centaurs are born? Or Body nothing. of a horse. Or, like, I guess, torso of a human. Right. And legs of a horse. Yeah, so the legs of a horse, right? So, in infancy, horses go right out of the after a couple of minutes they're already walking and running and everything like yeah. that but babies take months oh, so their no. body's just gonna be their like their body is just, just flopping just, around and the no, legs just, are it, <laughs> it's the, like a chicken with his head cut off the adolescent the no the newborn centaur must be so chaotic to raise there must be I a lot of i don't think no i i think the human part would also Keep have up. to take yeah keep up because otherwise like <coughs> babies when they're born like right out of their bodies you can't move like you have to be really careful with how you move them otherwise they get shaken baby syndrome or they could die or What's like shaken baby syndrome it's really bad like it can vary in like severity but it can go from like just a little bit like special needs to like very much like you're paralyzed like my um I think my mom's second cousin or something, she had a baby and uh, they got in a car accident when the baby was really little. And so just the jostling from the car accident caused her to have shaken or yeah, shaken baby syndrome. And she couldn't walk. She was stuck in a wheelchair and she was very like, um, like mentally delayed. Mm. So it's definitely not good. So I don't think we would have any like cognizant, centaurs if the baby part was like a normal human baby as serious as that is when you coin it as a shaken baby syndrome it just doesn't you just think of a person just going like this (laughs) no just a bandit walking into a hospital just going to every time just just, shaking every baby (laughs) no no and no no and if it's like my ceo my, my ceo pissed me off he didn't give me pto but he's having a baby, so I have to leave the office early. Yeah. While they're in that little incubation room, sneaking as a security guard. And you don't know which baby is which, so you just shake all of them. Just you to have make to, sure. bro. Blame, blame, blame the CEO's fault. 
They definitely have papers on the things that have. Okay, so look for me, Johnson. (laughs) Johnson, shake that bitch. No, I can't. But he didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, the baby. No, but you can't take it out on a baby. No, no, no. But fuck him. This is parents. He probably just grown up just as dumb as him. No. No, because what if he's the change? What if he's different? You can say the same thing about me jacking off. Like, what if the sperm I have in my balls could Could've be one? been. You know? Fuck that. Yeah. Ah, let it be. <laughs> let it be up to chance. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know? Shaken baby syndrome. Nah, yeah. that's... It's definitely very serious. But also kind of... Just the name of it is kind of funny. When did they start realizing, like, you have to be careful with babies at that early? I don't know. Like, there must have been... It had to have been, like, still... Like, pretty early on. Because you would notice, like, oh, this one that we're not, that we're jostling around all the time isn't doing so great. But, like, this one that we babied and really were gentle with, that one is smart. Like, it's... I don't want to go down this conversation. I don't want to offend anybody, but golly. <laughs> like, Spartans used to throw their kids off of cliffs if they had, like, slight deformities. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, we've come so far as a species. A species. A species. You know. Throwing your kid off a cliff would cause shaken baby syndrome, for sure. Would. Let's go to the next topic. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I, we've said shaken baby syndrome too many times that I... I, I, I There's also SIDS. Huh? Sudden in, infantile death syndrome, where a baby just, just doesn't wake up. Let's go to the next topic. This, this, <laughs> is, not, this is not nice, Mom. This, yeah, uh, he got the SIDS. Again, another coin term that doesn't fit. Like, it sounds like the SUDS from SpongeBob. Oh, it my does baby. Sound like SUDS. Uh, God, he got the SUDS. Uh, <laughs> he's like, oh, damn. Well, just give him a flu shot. No, he's dead. No, he did not. Yeah, didn't make it through the night. Oh, that is not funny. Either. And, like, that's something that you can't even really, like, you, you can't stop that one. Like, shaken baby syndrome, you can take, you know, steps to avoid it. But, uh, like, you get a humidifier. Yeah, maybe. You, you just it. rub the baby in Vicks every night until it's two years old. Dog, everything just crushing up Flintstones vitamins and slipping <laughs> that into his milk. This man's gonna come out like like Stewie when he got steroids. Age three, I want I'm gonna be putting on leg weights so he can no. walk around like Rocky. You want the kid to beat you up? No, I want. It's gonna be a four or five year old kid just kicking your ass every day. Uh, Baki child would be. I wouldn't. I couldn't think of something more. More I'd want. I really, I really can't. Like a child that grows to like little Baki, yeah, he's 14, but, 15, and he's buff. But that's different because Yujiro is strong enough to handle him. Well, You're not strong enough to handle yeah! a Baki. <laughs> yes. When he when he gets to a point where I actually need to like buck up, then I, I'll have to buck up. It's I gonna to come keep... quicker than you think because for some strange reason, kids are weirdly strong. Like I said, I'll keep up. But I gotta keep up. <laughs> But yeah, no, I would definitely want weights on his legs because I feel like that produces like athletes. That produces. But what about like the rest of his body? What about it? Because otherwise, he's just gonna have calves of steel, and the rest is just gonna be tubby he'll, baby. No, he'll 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 grow he'll grow he'll grow into it. You know, I <laughs> if he's because if he's training his legs, then he's want to be more active, and then he's want to do more things with his body, and you know, eventually he just work his arms you naturally. Think? Yeah. Because how active were you as a kid? Hmm. I didn't get active until, like, grade four. I'll be honest with you, grade five, when yeah. I started football. Yeah. And I definitely wasn't active So we'll kid. break the mold. It's a mindset. But look at some of the rest of your cousins. Like, you definitely have the blood of, of, of I active. just know that if I was, like, four years old and somebody put weights on my legs, I'm just sitting down because mm. that seems like too much no, effort. No, 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 no. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it, 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 it'll, it'll work. <laughs> we'll, we'll, see, when we get to that point... We'll just test it, and I'll give you, like, a year and a half, and we'll just see. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. We'll show the results of All a right. buff baby. What? Okay, what is your teeth with a calved-out buff baby? I didn't... Or a toddler? I don't know. I just want them to be cute. He will be cute! No, muscle babies aren't cute. He'll be one of the cutest kids at the playground. No. He'd be, like, <laughs> running no. so fast. What do you mean? Muscle babies aren't cute. I, I want a chubby little... With rolls. I want to squish them. Maybe oh, in baby I want a stuff. muscular stone, baby. That nah. sounds awful. Nah, but he still <laughs> cuddles up with you. He's just, you know. Yeah, but I don't want him to. Built. I don't want him to. Mm-hmm. He can stay over there. That kid is not getting loved. What do you mean? <laughs> He's getting loved from a distance. You... I'll still be nice to him. That's your son. 
Yeah, but he's made out of rock, so. He's not made out of rock. He's Basically, a, might as well be. He's, he's meaty. He's girth. Like, not girthy. I'm not going to describe my son as girthy. No. He's, you know, I stocky. want a rotund baby. I want fat rolls. You're using words that I don't understand. Rotund? Yeah. So, like round. Then just say round. But it's like, like rotund. <laughs> say rock! No. <laughs> I want a big belly baby. Mm. I want to get in the next part of the <laughs> I'm sick of babies. If I hear one more baby talk, I'm I'm throwing a diaper. <laughs> okay. Your own? Or mm, the, ba- <laughs> the baby diaper. So boy versus girl sleepovers. What do you mean by that? Because I, I just want to know. Because, like, mm. what even goes on at a boy sleepover? Do oh, boys I'm... even have sleepovers? Oh, yeah. I just, in my mind, boys think that sleepovers are gay so they just go there for the day and then they leave at like 9 no, p.m me and, my, me and my cousin no, okay yeah but cousins don't count i'm talking like people you're would not blood related white to. friends hell no my mom wouldn't let white kids in the house but would you go to a white friend's house the sleepover? only time i'd go the only time i went was like for cameron's house for one time just to like because mm. he was like my, my best friend so obviously he let me do it yeah and then for a birthday party ooh, and it technically wasn't sleepover because our whole class was there but during our grade graduation, we all stayed at like one boy's house and one girl's house. All the girls were at one oh, chick's house. Oh, yeah, but that's a that's a field trip. I've done that before. Yeah, but other than that, no, no. Okay, cause my cousins sleep over. I they I say that because sometimes they're cousins that we're not blood related to, but they're just like yeah. blood cousins, you know, or like they're just cousins of the family. But we talk about a lot of stuff. We'd lie about us having first kisses and stuff like that. We'd be like, You'd lie. We would lie about us having <laughs> first kids. We'd be like in grade four, grade five. So I'm like, yeah, this is girl at my school. You don't go to her school, but yeah, she goes. She's at my school, and yeah, we macked. Yeah, like we'd lie to her until we actually started doing shit. Then we're like, yeah, I, I was lying before. I actually did it. It's like nothing I described. And then we just talk about like you know, Disney characters that we'd like to smash. Mm, okay. Video games. Uh, and then we try to secretly masturbate without anybody else knowing. What? Meaning, like, <laughs> we we would all collectively, like, all right, I'm going to go to the bathroom now. Don't oh. do it. And, like, okay, bro, we'll, we'll see you in the bathroom. Like, yeah. And it's, like, 2, 3 a.m. and everyone's still talking. He comes back out. Just, like, like, 15 a, minutes later. Just a little brisk, like, a, a sweat line on the top of his brow. You know? <laughs> and everybody knows. Yeah, but we don't say anything. Cause well, we of all course do. not. And, like, I would try to risk it sometimes. Do you but just take turns? It's like, okay, Sometimes I'm going to go to the bathroom now. No, 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 no. <laughs> and especially with a big sleepover, I just open up my leg, slip my dick between my thigh, and just squeeze my thigh, make some mayo, and then... But, and uh, then it goes into your undies. It will change. You just change. Like, you just be busting it, and you use them as, like, the drying factor. You pop them out, and then... That just sounds very sticky and wet. I'm not the one doing my laundry. I feel bad for your mom. I'm not the one doing the laundry, so it was like, yeah, secretly master. And the thing is, yeah, that, never that con- doesn't happen at girls sleepovers. We'd never confront. Nobody would ever confront the other person, but we would all just kind of like side eye each other, like whenever we're like, all right, guys, good night, like good night. At least no girl sleepovers I've ever been to. Oh, right, so how do girl sleepovers differ? Since you actually, uh... I don't know. I just feel like we just hang out. We hang out too. But we don't do, like, horny things. We're not doing horny things. We're you just... do, because you said that you talk about Disney characters you'd smash. Yeah. And you all take turns jacking off without anybody noticing. That's horny things. Okay, so what? You do braid your hair and watch Lizzie McGuire movies? Or... Yeah. Basically. I mean, maybe not braid hair, but, like, we'll do each other's makeup. We'll curl our hair. We'll go out, take pictures. We'll go to the mall, maybe. Mm-mm, mm-mm. We'll, like, watch movies, order pizza. Hell no. We're sitting And there. then you, like, end it with, like, scary movies. And you, like, scare yourself before, right, like, right before you go to bed. And then you have nightmares. We play on the trampoline. <laughs> Isn't it just trampoline, video games, some other stuff outside? At what age did you stop having sleepovers? Uh... Like, me and Jonathan. like, specifically for the purpose of sleeping over. Not like, mm-hmm. oh, we're going to a party, mm-hmm. let's crash kind of thing. Me and Jonathan would still have, like, hangouts. Like, he comes from Toronto and comes to hang out. We just play video games and drink and hang out well into our, like... And you guys share a bed? Or yeah. do you sleep in separate spaces? Uh, if you sleep upside down, it's not gay, bro. Oh, but you sleep one person this way, one person yeah. this way? and yeah. I oh, just... we sleep like this. Sometimes cuddling. <laughs> no. 
See, that's the one thing we're not allowed. I could never look Jonathan in the eye and be like, hold on, bro. Let me just... Let me just get a little clumsy. It's your warm. Really? Never! His foot touches me. His, his, <laughs> anything touches me, it's a bump. And he, we, I mean, respectively, like, there's at least, like, enough space for another person to lay sliver in if we don't to. Like, we're... We're okay. Like, I got my blanket. He's got his blanket. Yeah, he doesn't even oh, go... Oh, separate blankets, even. He doesn't even go underneath the main blanket. He just has oh, a blanket Oh, we on share top. a blanket. Oh, no, hell no. Why would we go to the skin... extra effort of getting in another blanket? Bro, the moment my skin touches another male skin in a bed... Yeah. Mm-mm. You know who the worst to sleep to have sleepover was? Cecilia. I love you. But it was Cecilia. It's not Cecilia. <laughs> oh, no. Because... Cecilia! She was... <laughs> She was such an an active sleeper. Like I'm an she active. was I'm active. No, I woke up one time. This was like I don't know. I want to say I was in high school, maybe like grade 9, grade 10, and she slept over. And I woke up the middle of the night, her head was on my stomach. And I was just looking at her. And like I have titties. You, you're, you... <laughs> like, like this is not like flat like little 10 year old body like i'm in grade 9 grade 10 i'm like 14 15 years old like i'm i'm teenaging and i wake up and she's just right here and so i just went like this (laughs) and like sometimes she would elbow me and i'd wake up with bruises Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. but i love celia so it's i would i would hate i i'm the big brother that would hate car rides where my mom would force this, like me to let the sibling sleep on my shoulder. I would hate it. What do you mean force? Force. Meaning, like, your sister's tired. Just let her sleep on you. We'd be going to church or something, and it's like an hour drive into Toronto. And I'm just like, fine. And huh? they, sometimes they would drool. Yes, they would dro- This is a big brother. I mean, too. I never had a sibling until no, I was 15. We were so. packed up. No, because we there'll be two parents in the front yeah. and four of us in the back. And so there's only three seats, so we're already one on top oh, of the other. Oh, squishing. And then, so then Fiona is just like... <laughs> and so then she falls on one, and Philippa wouldn't even have it. The moment Fo- Fiona would even be like this, Philippa was like, Fiona! And then <laughs> I do can see thing. that. And then Fiona's just saying, I-, I feel bad now because she would just let her sleep on my shoulder without an issue. But back then, fuck no, you're gross. Yeah. I can smell your weave. Get out of here. See, I would always, like, lean back. Mm-mm. Or, like, lean to, like, put, use the seatbelt as, like, a hammock for my head kind of thing, you know? I do that. I do that. And I, so that's how I would sleep. I would just get that nice, meaty spot. Like, if I'm wearing, like, a hoodie, I'd roll up the hoodie. And yeah. And make a pillow out of it and just sleep on the corner of the... Yeah. See, I, I would, yeah, I would do my shit. But for some reason, they always love the shoulder. And then they would get a little, put a little razzle-dazzle and, like, hold your arm. Like, hey, hey, you're asking for an executive <laughs> package. You just got a head on the shoulder. I don't like you that much. What are you talking about? See, I grew up an only child, so I would scoop myself over to the middle seat, buckle up, because, like, usually we were driving, like, really long distances. And then I would just lay out across the whole back seat all by myself. And I would have a blanket and a pillow. Could not it was cl- a great time. <laughs> so great. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we never did any of that weird shit of like jacking off on a cookie and then the guys to eat it like at summer camp. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. But we did stuff uh, jelly beans up some kid's nose and his mom uh, got really mad at the school. Like, <laughs> like we, we really did. on your field trip one? Yeah. Nice. On my field trip one, it was uh, licorice. Licorice? Yeah, and it was like on the bus, so it was fair game for anybody. Anybody that fell asleep on the bus, you get licorice. No, he on was your nose. in bed and everything. We just like. Oh, gummy bear just... <laughs> and he was, like, panicking and shit like that. Because like, he, he can't breathe. <sighs> you could have killed him. Oh like, bro, just snort it out. Like, what are you Breathing in more gummy bears? Like, yeah, I could have gotten lodged up in there. But, bro, we're literally in grade six. Like, we're, we're <laughs> shitheads. We just... We're, all of us in our mind, as little boys, is destruction. I, I can't think of an empathetic thought until, like, maybe, like, the beginning of high school. Like, everything before then is just a buzz of just... <laughs> nerd yeah, f word yeah, like <laughs> things just happening See, bro. and you say i'm a bully mm, but you're the thing is you do it with intention you understand the weight of your actions and you still do it anyway yeah because they piss me off mm-hmm. <laughs> all right i want to switch to the next thing what dreams yeah what are they like you don't have one no 
Don't girls get like a wet nut? Like, oh, your panties just a little bit wetter than usual in the morning? Maybe. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. Not really. Not like. Those nuts are fat. Are. Fat. Wait, okay, let me give you, let me set the picture. Uh, First of all. Yeah. How does it happen? Like, okay, I know how it happens. Like, you have to have had, like, a sexual dream of some sort, right? Or it, does it just happen regardless of the type of dream that you're having? It's a stimulation thing, I think. So, like, if you had, like, an extreme stimulation, like, if I was, like, an action hero type situation, like, in a really nice anime thing, like, uh, that would be a little, like, because, like, I'm just so, like, stimulated, like, everything is happening. Yeah. But then the sexual ones, like... That's when you get the bigger ones? Like, I remember the first time... How I, old were you? Uh What's, uh, what's 11? Like, what grade is that? Or grade 6, grade 7? Something like that. The summer between grade, grade 6, six the summer between grade six and grade 7 is when I, like, had my first, like, wet dream. Like, I was my first nut. Yeah. But I was still, like, kind of, like, masturbating. Like, I was already playing with my dick, and we were, like, I was, like, squeeze my thigh, like, and put my yeah. dick in between there, and like, I would get, like, a sensation, but I couldn't describe it. And then when I nutted, and then I watched, like, other videos, like, oh, shit, this, this is how I was supposed to do it. Like, I get, I was already doing it, kind of, because the feeling is the same, but now there's, like, an action happening out of it. But the first wet dream in itself, Brody, picture just, like, like, a, like you like you know how you wake up and you have, like, a big drool stream? Yeah. Just think of, like, a pizza string of just nut from, like, because I just lift it up, because I'm like, oh, shit, did I pee myself? And just, <laughs> the whole bitch, like, is this glue in that shit like it's a fa- it's a bad nut like and at what age do they stop uh they don't really ever they don't really <gasps> never like stop when did you have when's the last one you had that you remember how old were you the last so when real, we were married no the last real real wet dream i probably was probably like 15 16 but like apparently still happened like in your later years because there's many times i've woken up and i have like a big like, like a nice pre-cum situation I'm like oh shit interesting the dick pics but what am i gonna bring up like i had i tell you all the time i've had a dream that we had like a foursome with like clones of you or like <gasps> and that's a... when it happens well i mean it's has it have has it happened since we've been together not as bad not a big wet dream no not a big but, but like a little of course of course regularly interesting you want me to start announcing it yeah please. no it's not a big deal oh. <laughs> It's really not. <laughs> I know. So just mention it. Bring it up casually. Like, yeah. like when I tell you, like, oh, yeah, like, I pooped this morning. And Shit. then you could be like, yeah, I nutted a little bit this morning. <laughs> no. No. See, that's a, see you, I would, but you, you're you I just want to know for science. You're going to start tracking my patterns, yeah. and then you're going to, like. I'll put it in an app. I'm not telling you about my wet dreams, eh? No. It's going to be observant. But at the end of the day, it's not that big. I'm talking about, like, those like a wet dream like where you wake up and then like your pants are just full of nut those were like the those don't happen to me anymore like that i can say like mm-hmm. that is definitely something of like my high school days but that first one you could have like a, a hefty like teaspoon teaspoon plus just like poured in there and the thing is it's sat you don't know how long it's sat because you've been sleeping yeah. so it was just sit there marinating for huh. god knows how long could have what could have been wet dream at like 4 a.m and i wake up at 8 you know, still just chilling with it. Gross. So girls don't have an equivalent? You you don't have a thing? Um, like, it's it's not really as like, noticeable. Like, when, so when you when they get, like, a sex dream, right? Yeah. What do you, like, you wake up, you're like, hmm. You can feel your coochie go, but that's about it. Mm. Like, it's not, like, if, because I'm assuming it probably does happen like, in the middle of the night sometimes, but the only time that I've ever really noticed it is if I'm having, like, a sex dream, like, while I'm on the verge of waking up Mm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Because then you can still kind of feel it a little bit, but I feel like if it happens in the middle of the night, which it probably does, you don't really, like, remember it. And because there's not, like... Like, you don't wake up and feel like you peed a little bit or anything like mm. that. So. so, yeah, you guys don't have a wet dream. There, there must be a Steins to it where it's, like, an equivalent. Because we can't... Guys just can be having our thing. Another guy thing that I think you've mentioned is, like, when we pee. Like, you guys don't get, like, a, a shiver when you're done peeing. Yeah, no. If you shiver when you're peeing, it's usually a bad thing. No, like, every <laughs> dog. I don't know if you've seen niggas when they're pissing, like, at the club or something like that. Or like just, just, I don't. You're no, just, I'm not allowed in that bathroom. Uh, <laughs> like, you, you, especially like I've been holding on, and then I, you get into the last like spritz of it. It's just like, <laughs> like it definitely feels nice Mm-mm. if you've got like if you've been holding your pee all day, and like you sit down and you finally like 
let it all like it feels good but i don't like i've never shivered nah, afterwards fellas i know fellas you know what i'm talking about every piss we have that's like i i, feel, I can see that. every piss i have at the tail end of the piss i can get a nice little <coughs> that's a nice little shiver i don't know the what it is best pee is when you're drunk that's always the best pee i, I just hate that because i keep having to pee if i break that seal oh, that's you i was i'm pissing i'm pissing I'm piss, like every 15 minutes i'm pissing especially as girls because like you go to the bathroom and you bring your friend and you sit there and like uh if it's like a house like bathroom mm. then like you'll be sitting on the toilet peeing and your friend will be sitting on the edge of the tub and you'll just be sitting there having a nice conversation with just drunk as shit <laughs> just peeing and having a great time can you imagine <laughs> you and the fellas like you like, right, let's go to the bathroom together huh yeah, yeah, I'm, I, yeah let's go I'm, we're still hanging out like. sometimes if you're like really drunk you hold hands a little bit. No. Yeah. No. Nah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> Next question. What kind of student were you? Uh, that was a student quiz. Like, what, what's... Right. So, I figured. We always talk about how you went to one high school. I went to a completely different high school. What it would have been like mm-hmm. if we went to the same high mm-hmm. school. Mm-hmm. So, I found a quiz, a BuzzFeed quiz, that is going to tell you what kind of student you were in high school do you know your results already i've already done my results my results yes so <clears throat> i'm going to quiz you bino all right give it to me all right it's just loading okay school's over what are you doing <laughs> time to study mm. singing and dancing practice shopping snacking or scrolling through social media school Practice or scrolling through social media, so I got to pick one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd actually have to, but I only had practice two times out of the week, so the majority of the week, I would be at home gaming or being on social media. So I guess I'll I'll say social media, yeah. What's your favorite class? Nothing, I hate school, science, theater, math, gym, or English? (laughs) It was gym. Gym. It was, yeah, it was, I don't know, because gym is just, it's a breather. It's, it's definitely a breather from all the bullshit, because, <laughs> what are you laughing about? No, I just think it's funny. Like, that's such a guy answer. Uh, I love gym, because I don't have to sit <laughs> in, in class and, and do shit. Okay, how do you dress? Something cute but comfortable, a cheerleader uniform, uh, something eye-catching, sweats, graphic tees, or nothing special? Mm-hmm. Mm, I've always been a sweats guy. Sweats guy? But, like, I'm thinking, like, my high school, we had uniforms. So, oh. so I couldn't necessarily do that. But, um, yeah, when we'd have, like, a casual day. Like, if I'm, I'm always, like, I, my, my majority of my wardrobe is just sweatpants. Sweats. So I'll okay. still say sweatpants for that. Okay. Pick something to eat for breakfast. Mm. PB and J, mm-hmm. a banana, fruit. Those are two separate ones, banana and fruit. Uh, veggies, a smoothie, or anything and everything. Anything and everything, brody. Fuck you talking about. We, we, let's have a smoothie before school. Like well, <laughs> sometimes it's a bagel, sometimes it's leftover, you know, rice and beans. Like whatever you can get your hands on. Okay, who do you sit with at lunch? Mm. Your crush, mm. your teammates, mm, 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 mm. the cool kids, the theater kids, your friends, or your best friend. At dinner or at lunch? At lunch. That's such a hard. It's not with the. It's not, it's not with the boys. I'd either really just be with my best friends, or my crush if I'm trying to kiki. So I'll, I'll, I'll chill with best friend because you know. best friend or friends. Friends, like multiple. friends. I don't just hang out with one. So bed. then I'll say friends. Mm-hmm. How would your friends describe you? Smart, passionate, kind, <laughs> talented, sassy, or adventurous? Definitely passionate passionate that, and that's being like polite instead of saying something else like you're a weirdo <laughs> you, you like things <laughs> you like things a little too much literally yeah like i'm a passion like i was sitting here doing chidori for people. Not a good naruto life. running through the hallway <laughs> hey man only real fans get it only, only, only real fans get it okay if you have a crush on someone what do you do mm. let them come to you mm-hmm. say absolutely nothing mm. Write a song for them. Write them a love letter, 
ask them out in a really cute and public way or just hang with them and test the waters? Uh, definitely hang with them and test the water. Everything else. I, and I don't like how you touch me because oh, you you're singing a song. You're song for Cause, me. Because you play guitar. <laughs> maybe you set them. No. With, maybe not write an original song, but like play a song. Yeah, definitely use like the, the, during the theater, like around them. Like <coughs> I bring my guitar during lunchtime and see the son of other guy. Like he's playing guitar too. Yeah. And then I'll be like, oh yeah, can I see that for a second? It's just you know, I'll, I'll see if I can play too. <laughs> play Let me just try for the first time Not, ever. You know something casual. <laughs> Put on the capo and start playing. And the, the ladies are like, oh, that's Passenger. I'm like, oh, oh, you, you've heard of them. Yeah. Bro. Oh, you've heard of them. Like, <laughs> they made it too, they really made it too easy. I'm sorry. So test the water isn't a hangout mm-hmm. or a place? Test the water isn't a hangout, though, because okay. the majority of the time it's just me like, hey, like, hey. Okay, what's your favorite color? Green, red, blue, white, pink, or purple? Probably red, right? Yeah, green, red, blue, I think. Probably, yeah. What's the last thing you searched for on the internet? Mm. A music video? It's a secret. Homework questions, sports results, your crush's socials, or an online store? <laughs> it's a secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. Especially if I'm home alone, it's a big secret. <laughs> it, 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 that's a big secret. Okay, and lastly, which nickname would your friends most likely give you? Babe, Regina George, Ace, Jet, Einstein, or Drama Queen? Say it again. Einstein, Ace, Jet, Drama Queen, Babe, Regina George. Probably Drama Queen. I'm, I'm, I'm like out of all those names, nobody's gonna call me Jet. I'm not the Ace in the hole. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, and no. you're definitely not Einstein. Hey, that's not. <laughs> that's not fair i got into a biomedical biology yeah mm-hmm. and, and did you pass doesn't have to i got in <laughs> i got in i i elevated in i'm they they saw the potential you got into one of the highest accepting universities yeah but still it still got into university there's still mooks that can't even get in <laughs> there is you're right so you got athlete which isn't surprising you're one of the top athletes at your school. You're pretty popular amongst your teammates. Mm-hmm. And let's just say that you never really need to look for a date. People are just drawn to you. Uh, no, not really. No? Yeah, I, I, you definitely had to do a little bit of... You didn't mm-hmm. necessarily have to search, but you had to... After like, legwork. I'd, I'd be like, after like three, four days. Yeah. Like, oh, you know what? You're actually pretty cool. I'm yeah. like, yeah, yeah, I know. Now fuck me. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's conversation. And then for me... A little iffy on my answer. What did you get? Plastics. Yeah. But the thing is... You were friends with everybody. Yeah. But I wasn't, like, a popular... Like, I wasn't the most popular in the school. I was friends with the popular kids, but I didn't hang out with them. So that's where, like, I... Draw the line. Yeah. But it says that I'm one of the most popular kids in school, which we've already come to agree that that wasn't it. Um, But... Everyone's either crushing on you. I I don't know. I truthfully I didn't pay attention to any of the guys in my school. So Why? what about you? Do you want prom- the real e- reason or do you want like the? What's the real reason? I don't want no fake reason. Because they're all white. Golly! There was one guy that I started to like but he was like mixed with like spanish Mm -hmm. so there's like a little bit of like spice in there but mm, that didn't work out what about um what about your your prom date ew no i just went with him as friends but he's buff i don't care no he he was pretty buff yeah he was he would have been he was very buff he He had abs but like he would have been a nice fuck no Really? Why? Because number one, he was an awful prom date. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's so fine. like, he just was tanking the whole evening. Is <laughs> and secondly, not my type. Mm. Is the body was nice. Yeah, so the that's what face I'm not so much. I'm just saying, you really couldn't get like, isn't like that's not sexy. Like, like what he had was not sexy enough for you. But oh, this this is. This is fine? Yeah. I... 
Huh? I like big boys. <laughs> so do you think we would have hung out based on that? Uh, yeah, I think we would have been friends. I would definitely try to fuck you. I know you would. Definitely would have. But. And who knows? If you caught me on a good day, I might have swung for it. But. I have to wait till you're out of your parents. I would have had to been very early on in your sexual career. I just wouldn't tell you. I would know. I would try to Because I'm friends you. with everybody. Just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> like, 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 everyone likes to come to me with their with their stuff, and I love it. Their I live for it. I want to know everyone's tea, but I don't want anyone to know mine. That's not fair. You I like to lurk in the shadows. You can't be just a viewer. Killer. I like to be a silent partner. You have to be a player. <laughs> but yeah, I want to go to this next segment. I have some Naputo characters, some Naruto characters here collected. Yep. And, and I, I've watched maybe 10 episodes of Naruto. Uh, I want you to basically... We can't see your face. That's fine. No, it's not fine. I want you to basically give me... Names. A name and a, a quick backstory <gasps> of oh, these characters. Okay, Just, I get to come up with a little story. So, who is this? <sighs> It's one of the Uchiha brothers. Okay. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, so are you giving me Naruto characters, or are you giving me also Boruto? Oh, like, no, no, older. Naruto Shippuden and Naruto are included in this, yes. Actually, I think the majority of these are Naruto Shippuden. So is this Itachi? It's whoever you... Okay, it's, it's Itachi. It's Itachi? It's Itachi. Wait. Yeah, I think that one's Itachi. That's Itachi? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. <clears throat> um, He killed his whole family. Yeah, that's cr- you're actually, yeah. That's all I know. Um, so, do you want to know the truth now? <laughs> yeah, please. All right, so this here is Hashirama Senju. Oh, jeez. It's the, not even... <laughs> the first Hokage of the Leaf Village. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that, that, that's him. All right, next we have... Ah, he's the one with the peanut. Mm-hmm. The peanut backpack. Um, Gara. Yeah. Yeah. Gara. He lives in the desert, the mm-hmm. sand village. Yeah, he's actually considered the Kazekage. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and he like right when I stopped watching Naruto is like right when he came in. So what's his so yeah, so just give me a summary of his power again. Um he's got a giant peanut backpack and there's sand in it and he's a sand bender. Sand bender, I'll take it. Sand he's a sand bender. Yeah. I right. watched all of Avatar though. <laughs> Who's this? Naruto's dad. Yeah, nice. Easy. Yes. What's his name? Uh, uh, Christopher. Christopher. Christopher Uzimaki. Yeah. Seems right to me. Yeah. So um, he died. He did die. He yes. definitely did die. How did he die? He was killed mm. by mm. the giant mm. toe fox. Nice. Fox, a big fox. That's actually perfect. Yeah, so Minato Namikaze, I believe. So not Christopher. Not Christopher, okay. but it is indeed Naruto's dad. And it's weird because his mom is the one with the Uzumaki last name, so that's what uh, he took. Naruto took Uzumaki. Oh, from interesting. That's what I'm like, Look at them, progressive. <laughs> Love that for them. Who's oh, this? oh, oh, that's she grows up to be Naruto's wife. Yeah, I mm-hmm. know that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. Hinata? Yes. Nice. I'm doing so much better on this than Dragon Ball Z. Mm. Uh, I've decided I'm going to be a Naruto stan now. A Naruto stan, because you yeah. know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, she is from the Sound Village. The Sound Village. Yep, mm-hmm. because she's blind. So all she can do is hear and echolocate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what does she actually do? Bro, that's just a Byakugan. That's what the, the Hugo clan just looks like. It. She's definitely from the Leaf Village oh, with, with Naruto because okay. that's where they grew up. Yes, Hinata, okay. you got, I'll give you an 8 out of 10 for that. All right, cool. You got her, she does look definitely like blind and shit. So yeah. I'll give you that. Ah, yes. He looks like 
he would be brothers with Kakashi. Mm. Okay, so what's his name? Oh, wait! I remember him! He ends up being mm, evil. Ooh, yeah. Uh... He has glasses, silver hair. He looks like if Draco Malfoy and Harry Potter had a kid. Hmm. Draco Potter. Yeah, I'm going to call him Draco Potter. We got Draco Potter. Yeah. The real name is Ramon. This is Kabuto. Kabuto, one of Orochimaru's right-hand men, very integral. In, Orochimaru, in... I know him. You know him? Yeah, he's got a long tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you know him for the wrong reason. <laughs> you know him for the wrong reason. Mm. Mm-hmm. He's a... Mm-hmm. He's a Kage. He is a Kage. He is yeah. a Kage. Yep, yep. Yep. He's a Hokage. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. His name mm. is David. David! And he has a native background. A native background? Yeah, because okay. of the tribal paints. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, he looks like he has a pet dog. What was his power? What are his powers? Um, he can. He's a very good hunter gatherer. That actually could. Uh, he can teleport. So I mean, like, okay. he, he invented the technique. So this is, I believe, Toby Rama Senju. Oh, uh, that's what Colin named his cat after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> sil- the silver, the silver. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He is the second Hokage. How uh, many Hokages are there? Nine. Uh, there's a couple. Twelve. Naruto is the seventh. No. Okay, so the fourth Okage is Naruto. That the fifth Okage is Tsunade. Kakashi was briefly the sixth Okage, so I believe Naruto is the seventh, if I'm not mistaken. But I could be missing a Kage. Interesting. Yeah, Kakashi was temporary Okage. It's pretty dope. Pretty yeah. Dope. All right. Next. Next question. Who's this guy? He has. He's a fish man. He's a fish man indeed. He has a big sword on his back. It is. That's Shark Boy. It is Shark Boy. That's indeed. Naruto Shark Boy. He has bluish skin. He's a lizard person. What's his na- so what's his name? Shark Boy. Shark Boy. Okay, okay. Give me a brief description of his power. He swims really fast. He does do that. He does do that. Confirmed. He's got, it looks like a big weapon on his back that he wields. He does do that, you yeah. He can probably breathe underwater. He He's does. got gills, right? Mm-hmm. Um... Does he talk to animals? Like no. fishes? No, he can summon sharks, though. So, I mean. so he's a shark boy, yeah. is what you're saying. All yeah. of shark boy's powers, he's got. So this is our boy, Kisame, who is actually conveniently Itachi's partner. Like life partner? A Kotsky partner. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I guess in this PC world, gotta be, uh, he's his partner right now. <laughs> oh, so they fucking, huh? Look, I don't know, because, like, Naruto's dad took the wife's last name. Like, I'm thinking Naruto's a progressive show ahead of his there's time. There's no way that you just broke back Mountain, one of the biggest anime duos in history. Like, you just, <laughs> like you're fucking, we can't do that. I can, and I did. The Naruto police are going to get after you. Okay, we only have a couple here. A couple left here. Ah, yes. <coughs> Who's this guy? He has a bandage over his eye. He looks like a Toby Rama. He could be, Yeah. He is from the Leaf Village, I'll give you that, because you can't see his uh, headband. Uh-huh. Um, I'll give you a little backstory as well, and then you can build the story from here. Okay, okay. He is the leader of the Ambu Black Ops, mm. you know, in the Leaf Village. He's a ninja. You know, he's what, he's very integral in orchestrating the attack on the Uchiha. He basically, he's the one that gave the hit. To, like, on the Uchiha brothers? The, all of them, all just the brothers, all of them. <laughs> he's like, yo, they're going to turn on the Leaf Village eventually, they're evil. He's a cop. Yeah! Yeah, mm. he's an op. So, he had a scar on his chin. I wish I could show you another picture of what he really looks like. His name's Clint. Clint? Yeah. Okay, Clint who? It's, uh, I want to say Eastwood because that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Give, give him a Japanese last name. Uh, Clint. <clears throat> You're saying that like I know Japanese mm. last names off the top of my head. Clint... Yamato. Clint, Clint Yamato. <laughs> so this is, in fact, Mr. Donzo. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not a Clint. And, yeah, he is basically the 
Mchia Eye Collector. I'm gonna show you off stream what he really looks like under those bandages because it's fucked up. He definitely could be a real life sheriff in like a southern town. Yeah, he definitely gives. He definitely gives like I hate those. He definitely gives racist vibes. Hundred percent. Donzo is definitely like. Yeah. And why know. is his robe half black and half white? <laughs> Just for fun, aesthetic purposes. He that's his outfit. <clears throat> go to the next one. Go to the next one. Okay. Oh shit. This one's interesting. So, one of her pr main abilities is Mind Transfer Jutsu. I remember her. She's from... She had a long ponytail and then she cut it off. No. Nah, that was Sakura who did that. Oh. Mm. Never mind. But she is part of Choji and Shikamaru's team who prolifically... Right. Prolifically, while their parents were part of the same team and they have like this whole thing where their families always want to fight together and even their kids in Boruto sometimes fight together in the same techniques. I know this is not her name, but that's a Jessica. Yeah, it is a Jessica. She's definitely like a Britney of the show. Mm, mm. I'm changing it to Britney. Mm. Britney, and then her like middle name is Lynn. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she's definitely a popular girl. She's a she's the pretty one that all the boys mm -hmm. like. And mm -hmm. wait, doesn't she? She has a crush on um, Sasuke, yeah. Sasuke, right? Yeah. That's not, that's, who, that's not who she ends up with, though. No, she ends up with... Another another guy later on in the show. Choji ends up with a black girl, though, oh, right? Yeah, from the mountains. Bagged her, Brody. I love that for you him. You know, I'll say one word. Well, I'll get two words. Okay. Three words, actually. Okay. Partial expansion jutsu. True. Mm-hmm. I love that for her. Anyways, next one. What's her name? Brittany. Wait, this is Eno. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that, that one that's like, I mean, no scared of this thing. Oh, that's, this is Eno. I'm like, yeah. Like, kind of. <gasps> what if, okay, so remember how I said at the beginning of the podcast that mm. I don't like my name anymore? What if I also become Eno? We could just, you could be Enosuke and I could be that Eno. No, get out of here. <laughs> we could be Eno I'm still waiting for my mom to text back. Did she text back? No. Oh. Uh, never mind. Let's go to the next one. Ah, yes. Oh, he was, um, he was, he was the one that you, you just, did you just mention him? No. Oh. Uh, but he, uh, Ku, Ku, his, Ku, 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 his pet dog is named Akamaru. Yeah, I, am yeah, I remember him. Fang over Fang. Yep. Mm-hmm. He fought Naruto in the tuning exam. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Say, it. say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Ka. Ko. Yeah. Ka. <laughs> ki. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep. Keep that string. Keep. Keep that. String. Ki. Bu. Ki. <coughs> Keith. Kiba. Kiba. Mm, Kiba. Yeah, I was close. Did. I said Kibu. You did say Kibu. He is now Kibu. Ah yes. One of the legends. Oh, has, that guy! He has one of the legends. I watched that episode. That yeah. was really good. So it starts man, with a Z. It does start with a Z. He is wielding one of the legendary ninja swordsmen swords. He is considered the demon of the mist. He was one of the first shinobi to show Naruto how gruesome and gruely the ninja world can be, and really kind of shape Naruto moving forward in his other missions. This is the first real mission for Naruto. Zabuza. That is Zabuza. Look at that. that I was going to say Zabuto at the first. Zabuto. That's the, yeah. But then it hit me. That's Zabuza. The scene where Zabuza had both arms kunai, so he had, can't use his yeah. arms. But he has a kunai in his mouth, and he's killing all the I'm guys. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of hot. Exactly. Bro, My you could imagine my, my poor little Am I going to watch brain. Naruto? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. A thousand times yes. Should I pick up where I left off, or should I start over It's so over easy. No, again? no, no. You don't need to rewatch everything. You got the just Like, you know Naruto. Like, you just have to continue on to the story, digest a little bit more, skip a couple fillers. Because I think where I left off was... They're in the forces of death. They're in the yeah. forces of death. We're in the tuning exam still, so... Plus, Netflix saved us off where we left off, so... It's True. Fine. Ah, this... Oh, he's also hot. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but he is. He smokes a cigarette. Yeah. He was the sensei... To he's, Shikamaru, you know, and stuff. He's like um, in Haikyuu. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. The the one coach with the long blonde Blunt, hair yeah. that smokes the cigarettes. Ugh, so mm. hot. Mm-hmm. Um, his name is. I don't know. Just give it. Zeke. Zeke. All right. No, nah, that That's, doesn't suit him. But there's a guy that has a goatee and glasses from Attack on Titan whose name is Zeke. So Hi, this kitty. guy's name <laughs> is. Asuma. 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 And conveniently, he's actually related to the third Hokage. He has royalty in his blood. Ah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm, Makes mm-hmm. him even hotter. Yeah, we have two more left before we have to switch off here. Oh, ah. she's creating. Mm-hmm. Who is this? Now, for the people at home, all I can say, the mother of Chakra. Literally the final boss in Naruto Shippuden. The one that closes it all off. Like, this is where she's the plan... Evil? She... Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's subjective. Like, it's what she's doing. She's really evil if she's taking back what was hers. Like, oh, true. She. So, yeah. Elsa. Ma- Elsa. Yeah, she looks like the, the ice queen. Mm-hmm. This is Kag- uh, Kaguya. Kaguya. Mm-hmm. Kaguya, the mother of Chakra. Interesting. Without her, there's no... We can't do any jutsus. Like, Not a single one? All jutsus, all things. That's why she has like the Sharingan thing in the middle of her forehead. The Byakugan eye, like she's, she's the bolt. Like this is the original. She's pimped out. It is kind of pimped. She got a lot of upgrades. <laughs> nice. Pimp my ride. No, I'm not pimp. Pimp my eyes. Stop. <laughs> and last but not least, who is this blonde, big big titties, Head. everything? Is that you know, grown up. That is. Mm-hmm. You know his mom. Uh, Stephanie. Bino. Uh, this is Tsunade. Why she's, does that sound familiar? She's a fifth Hokage. Oh. She's, she's a Kage, yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. That was a lot of hentai that beat my meat to this woman. Really? A, a, a lot. As a young boy or still to this day? To this day. Oh. It's it's amused. She's amused. <laughs> She's amused. But yeah, so thank you for playing with me on that uh, little Naruto game. Okay, I am officially a Naruto professional. Oh. I know everything. Uh, oh. Ask me Naruto questions. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not going to do that to you. Actually, I'll just do, do one more quick trivia. Okay, give me a minute. Is, you remember Karin, right? Yeah. She's from Sasuke's crew. She has red hair. Yep. Is she related to the Uzumaki clan? She definitely is. Nice. I'm, I have no more further questions, y'all. Yeah, because I'm a professional. Her. I know everything about Naruto. Shark boy. Mm. I think that's so cool. Is there a lava girl? Uh, No, 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 no. But say goodbye to your friends, y'all. We gotta go. But why? We got we got things to do. We're on a schedule. Remember, we have a one-hour schedule. So say our, say our social so we can get out of here. Okay, everybody, you can follow us. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Say it like you... <laughs> I want to say, say it with... Be sad with extra. <laughs> Why are you sad? It's an hour. 58 minutes. I know. I just have so much fun doing the podcast. Anyways, you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. We upload to YouTube as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Crazy Gates Podcast. That's Crazy, That's crazy G, the number 8 S podcast on all social media all right y'all see you next week awkward silence no awkward silence